Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is my complete guide to BandLab for Windows and Mac, part one, how to create a drum machine track. Click on BandLab Assist. Click on Mix Editor. The browser version of BandLab will now open in Google Chrome. In the new track window, click on the drum machine icon. If the instrument window is not open at the bottom of the screen, double click on the instrument icon to the left of the words drum machine in the track header. To change the drum kit, click on the drum kit name at the bottom left of the screen and select a new drum kit, either by moving the cursor over the words drum kits and then clicking on a drum kit from the list, or by moving the cursor over the words pad kits and then clicking on a pad kit from the list. To hear a demo of the drum or pad kit, click on the play icon that is to the right of the drum or pad kit's name, then press on the icon again to stop the demo. At the bottom of the screen, the instrument window shows the drum beat patterns. Click on the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G or H to select a drum pattern. Currently, patterns A and B already have a default beat, while the other patterns are empty. To listen to a pattern, click on the play button, then click again to stop the beat. Click on an empty square to add a note, or click on the coloured dot in the square to delete the note. Each pattern is 16 notes long and has 8 rows with one instrument in each row. So all the dots in one row will be the same colour and be the same instrument sound. Each row has a header to the left of the row that shows an image of the instrument for that row. To change the instrument for a row, click on the row header and select an instrument from the pop-up menu. To add a pattern to the drum machine track, drag the white vertical track position marker to the place where you want the pattern to start. Select the pattern number in the instrument window, then click on the add button. To loop the pattern, click the loop icon in the top right corner of the pattern and drag the cursor to the right. A thin white vertical line appears at the end of each pattern section. To delete the pattern, right mouse click on the pattern and click on cut in the pop-up menu. To copy the pattern, right mouse click on the pattern and click on copy in the pop-up menu. Now drag the white vertical track position marker to the place you want the copy to start. Then right mouse click on the blank area of the track and click on paste in the pop-up menu. To play your drum machine track, click on the return to the beginning button then click on the play button, then click on the play button again to stop the playback. The tempo sets the speed of the song and the speed of the drum pattern. The volume sets the volume of the drum pattern within the song mix and the pan sets whether the sound of the drum pattern comes out of the left stereo speaker or the right stereo speaker or out of both stereo speakers or more out of one speaker than the other. To change the tempo, double click on the BMP number at the top of the screen so it's highlighted blue. Then type in a new number and press enter. 
to change the volume, drag the white dot on the green line on the track header. To change the pan, drag the cursor up and down on the knob icon on the track header. Adding an effect to the drum pattern, like reverb, can make the drums sound more like an acoustic drum kit and can make the drum pattern sound further away from the speakers. To add effects to the drum track, at the bottom left of the screen, click on the Effects effects. To add a preset effects, click on None, then click on a preset effects from the pop-up menu. To add your own choice of effects, click on the Add Effects, then click on an effects from the pop-up menu. To delete an added effects, click on the X in the top right corner of the effects. If you want to save your drum track so you can use it in another song or project, you can export it from the project and then import it into another project so you can use it in another song. To export the MIDI pattern, click on the three dots on the track header and click on Export as a MIDI from the pop-up menu to export as a MIDI file. Or click on Export as a Wave to export as an audio file. The exported file will appear in your computer's download folder. Finally, you probably want to save your song, so you need to save your project. To save your project, click on Save at the top right of the screen. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.